Und damit ein herzliches Willkommen und hallo zu einem Werbepartner. Let's play Fake Run Order. Ich bin jetzt im Superfix. Wir stecken hier mit dem, im fünften Lost Belt und sind inzwischen schon in Kapitel Nummer 4. Beim letzten Mal waren wir hier in der Westinteressale City. Wurden jedoch hier von den Göttern in der Form von Aphrodite, Europa und natürlich Demeter überrascht. Dazu kamen noch äh, die Dioskuren. Wir konnten ihn fliehen, dank der Hilfe eines äh, mysteriösen Gefolgsmanns mit einer seltsamen Kapuze und Minerva, also beziehungsweise Athena, die Göttin der Weisheit. Wir finden uns in den 6 und 4. Dort the harvest that reaps the stars. Haben keine Ahnung, wer uns hier gerade im Endeffekt geholfen hat oder wieso uns jemand geholfen hat. Aber... Ich würde einfach mal sagen, wir mutmaßen jetzt einfach weiter und hoffen, dass die netten Leute, die uns hier geholfen haben, auch weiter von der Seite stehen. Gaze him up at the sky. Always reminds me of my beautiful, fragile daughter. My dear daughter, who was born solely to be loved. And always loved everything that grew in the land. You always had such a bright smile on your face. Always hoped that one day you would uh, meet someone wonderful, fall in love, and have a dear child of your own who will look just like you. Then that uh, child would uh, be one day have a child of their own, and so on and so on. Until one day the land uh, would uh, be covered with your descendants. And that's what I used to dream about, and I truly believed it would happen. But now... Uh, why? Why? Why did you leave the land today? Ehrlich gesagt, ni ich habe nicht die geringste Ahnung, wer jetzt hier gerade geredet hat. Greater but shrine by Olympia de Döner. Oh, okay, die Perspektive der Götter. Die wahrscheinlich nicht so glücklich sind, dass es Rebellen in ihren gibt. Boah, ist ja ein Paradies da. Uh, ich habe schon mal gesagt, kann man sich für diesen Lost Belt bewerben? Hang Perimeter Gardens. The birds are chirping merrily again today. They sing the praise of Olympus. They sing of how happy they are to be among its glorious skies, bountiful harvests and beautiful vistas. Ah, and yet... My heart sits still at ease. Sounds like you've got it rough too, hon. You're the queen, right? I'm my world's version of Greek mythology. I remember the as failing, falling in love with a human queen at one point. But they say you fused with the as a first wife, Hera. Doesn't it uh, feel like sharing a body with your mother-in-law? How can you stand it? And on top of that, you're even acting as the priestess. I guess the as must be reattached to you. By the way, just out of curiosity, how does this Lost Belt feel about women's rights? During the Olympia Machia, Lady Hera suffered a grave wound, an original mechanical body was destroyed. But Zeus uh, was reluctant to lose his beloved Queen Feather. By fusing her remnants with me, a rock spirit from purple human history, he was able to prolong both of our lives. Such is the depths of his love for us. I see. Thank you for worrying about me, Pepe. Now, um, if you wouldn't mind. I was hoping uh, to ask you about the Chaldeans. How oh, could I say no to that, especially after you so kindly putting me up in your lovely place, a uh, shrine? Now, oh, what's this? Are you two having a nice chat? Letztens hatte doch sie diese seltsamen Symbole hinter sich. Any friend of Kirshia would I miss a friend of Zeus. Please make your herself at home. Why, thank you. Don't mind if I do then. I must applaud you in the dish of Queen Arup. Lady Demeter, I would never have thought to do something so dreadful as gathering information on Kalea and proper human history. What's this all about? No, wait, let me guess. Is it because you feel responsible for letting them get away yesterday? Yes, that's right. I feel terrible about not being able to fulfill Lord Azir's revelation. Oh, you poor thing. You really are quite uh, worried, aren't you? 
but you don't have to worry about things like this. Just let myself and the other gods take care of it. You may have assimilated with Lady Hera, but you're still now only a demigod. This would never want to pushing yourself beyond your limits. All you need to do is sit and smile by the flowers like I in young maiden you age. Have you met my daughter, Persephone, yet? I would just love you to see her, you two become friends. Lady Demeter, I'm afraid Persephone. Äh, ich dachte, die gibt's ja einfach gar nicht. Äh, Persephone hat auch ein schönes Schicksal übrigens gehabt. Das war, wenn ich es richtig erinnere, die äh, Frau, die von Hades, äh, also auf die Hades ein Auge geworfen hat und die dann schließlich in die Unterwelt äh, seine Frau werden musste und dann immer, äh, ja, danach eben die Jahreszeiten bestimmt worden ist, denn immer im Frühling steigt sie auf, im Sommer ist sie da, im Herbst muss sie hinabsteigen und im Winter ist sie unten in der Unterwelt. A servant, was it? Heroes who were inscribed in humanity up in their death and now matches as heroic spirit. What a truly awful procedure. I can scarcely think of anything more dreadful. Heroes as humans should only be born from their mothers. Say, I have a wonderful idea, Europa. You should think of me as your mother now. I... It's quite alright, Europa. There's no need to be polite. I'm the goddess of the land, and the land has always been mother to all things. Mother of the land, huh? That sounds like Gaia. In the Greek mythology, I know she was the mother of Earth, the gods, and everything else under the sun. She was also married to Uranus, the first god of the heavens. Um, ja genau, das sind jetzt wieder die Sidanen, um Uranus ist ja wie gesagt der Ursprungstitan, was wir schon mal irgendwann hatten, aus dem ja dann die anderen Titanen unterhalb auch Kronos, der dann später dann der Anführer Titan wurde, und natürlich äh, Gaia, die äh, seine Gemahlin. First there was chaos, then Gaia, the land came forth and gave birth to everything. The land has always been a mother, and how it's supposed to be. And the sea, the sea was also a mother, or at least it was supposed to be. The sea? Hmm. I didn't send any sort of femininity from the late god of the sea in Atlantis. Maybe that uh, refers to the Oceanics, the daughter of the sea? Haha, <laughs> no paper human sage. That isn't what I mean. Hmm. I suppose it might be difficult for you to understand. But all the same. I'm certain the sea was also once a mother. Mama, wenn du, wenn ich zu dir, also Demeter, wenn ich zu dir Mama sage, schlägst du dich dann auf unsere Seite und greifst du sich mit göttlichen Angriffen an. Ich habe nämlich ein bisschen Angst vor den Kämpfen gegen äh, die Götter, Mann. Ich kann mir da schon sowas vorstellen und besonders also auf Aphrodite. Oh, das kann schlimm werden, das kann sehr schlimm werden. A magic energy thing is making its way towards the ship. It's kind of faint, but I recognize this pattern. Anyway, it's a servant. Damn it, now what do we do? We don't have anyone here who can fight right now. Oh, ich glaube, es ist Zeit für den Phoenix. It's a grand down, Manuel. <laughs> have you tried one uh, a more full fro scan yet? It's Minere. What? Now you can't even remember the food uh, theme anymore? But anyway, good idea. I'll run a full uh, scan right now. Easy there, guys. Just keep it together. I already scanned the servant myself, and there's nothing to worry about. Leonardo! Technical advisor, what are you thinking? You're supposed to be in recovery. Hey, what's the big idea? You know, I prefer to be called Da Vinci. Anyway, don't worry about me. Uh, my recovery is still coming along fine. Holmes was nice enough to set things up for me, so I could connect my consciousness to the border score from the recovery pod. That's it, the most I can do right now is activate uh, the systems that don't need magic energy characters to be active. To reboot it. Hmm. So you're not overexciting yourself then? Of course not. I'm still making my health my first priority. Isn't that what my family homunculus used to do? Yes, it is. Ruthlessly so, in fact. But never mind that now. What did the skin tell us? Alright, the magic energy signal. Well, like I said, there's nothing to worry about. This production is super high quality, but I can also tell from the low magic energy that they are in pretty bad shape. So it looks like a really high interrogue spirit, one uh, with a spirit ocean, and not some power for divine spirit. Has drifted here, probably from Atlantis. Drifted? 
So, what? You're saying they got sucked into the Great Pit's whirlpool? And they've been sort of floating around this area ever since instead of falling straight down? They've probably got some kind of passive ability. So let's move around like this even when they drift. Then we need to make a calm, level head decision. So we have a powerful divine uh, spirit level 7 drifting about in a weakened state from Atlantis. Hmm. Uh, hello? Canis? Like. Oh! Uh, now, what is it? Relax, old man. There was just a new message sound. Looks like we've got a bunch of data from the Wandering Sea. Huh? The README is a file video. I put it up on the main monitor. Firstly, I want to congratulate uh, of you making to Olympus. Now that you have made it this far, I wish you success in cutting down the tree of emptiness. I've been going over all the data you sent me and it's proven extremely useful. Thanks to what you learned by going up against the machine god Artemis and Poseidon. We now know that we can expect that the other gods of Olympus are similarly powerful mechanical beings with combat abilities beyond human key. And above all, you have gained information from the ultimate weapon, the Defastus designed and forged out of a Hellas Divine Construct Armor. The longbow Ryan used to shut down, down Artemis. The piece of data turned out to be the final key. The final key? This is the key that will give us humans the means to uh, bring down gods. The last hope we have of fighting back against this little Deus Ex Machina. Eine Waffe, die Götter zu bezwingen. <lacht> schieren, 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 schieren. Du machst mir gerade hier Lust auf mehr. Es ist endlich Zeit, dass wir unseren inneren Kratos rauslassen und hier einen auf, den Go auf God of War machen. Ja. Ja. Also, ich bin voll dafür, liebe Leute. Leg los, Mann. Mach mal das Platz. Jetzt habe ich den Kapitelnamen nicht gelesen. Tut mir leid. Das war wahrscheinlich der Matja. Krieg. Der vierte Makkerkrieg, wo die Götter sich gegenseitig bekämpft haben. Der Skyscraper aber klebt oder? Unsere Servants, die gekämpft haben. Damn these Olympian Gods, not even my defense can stand in the face of their assault. They are about to break through every one of our defense lines. Urgh. Assemble my mass with mechanical soldiers. It's up to you to out the last line of defense. Der Breezy King. Let them hear you roar, man. Even if you should vanish here today, the flag of freedom will still fly strong. Farewell, fellow Kalians. The rest is up to you now. I finished the first summoning positions. I'm so close to finishing more, but we just don't have enough time. If we only had a few more minutes, I could have at least finished the third and fourth. I'm sorry, lady. If nothing else, we should have at least made sure you could escape. Addison Group has been fighting admirably. They clearly learned much from their experiments and the singularities. But I'm afraid this is as far as we go. We truly, utterly defeated. And the God's long strike will surely demolish this entire sector before we can deal them even a single blow. Maybe we have threw caution to the wind too soon. Or maybe we never had a chance of winning at all. Damn it! Damn it! Mechanical Olympian gods, huh? They're the real deal. So, they might even know something about Mahatma. Oh, my lady. I know, but remember, they are the enemy of all proper human history. And they may well be ships that cross the sea of stars to come here, my wise, beautiful Helena. But they are absolutely not the star you looked up to. Thank you, Mr. Tesla. You're very kind. That's the truth, lady. Hear me, gods. This world does not belong to you. You were consigned to the trash heap of proper human history long ago. You aren't protecting anything. You only suffocate humanity with your enduring tyranny. Humanity will never be your pets or play. Edison, Tesla und Helena. 
unsere Rebellenarmee, die hier tapfer gekämpft hat und das mit dem Leben bezahlt hat. Die Hunde werden wir dafür bekommen. Keiner zerstört nämlich meinen Präsiking. Bis zum bitteren Ende haben sie für uns gekämpft. Sind sie hier durch Atlantis äh, auf Kosten von vielen anderen gewandert. Und nur für das. Nun gut, äh, das ist die Basis. Oh, die Rebellenbasis. Ist der die Match? Wer sonst? Good morning. Good, you're already up. Oh, you don't mind if I come in. Du weißt, hübsche Ladies kommen immer in mein Zimmer. Good morning, Senpai. Puh. Did you sleep well last night? Hey, okay, Senpai. You look pale. I just had an awful nightmare. Huh? Ich glaube, es war nicht ein Halbtraum. Mesh? Senpai. As a matter of fact, I had a bad dream myself. I think it's probably because... We hear that all the rock spirits that come to Olympus from Atlantis were... Wiped out. So much for finding other rock spirits to join us. Still, they did leave this hidden base for us. It should be more than functional enough to, for our purpose. And Musashi is here to help too, so it hasn't been completely lost. Now that we settled in here, we should repeat back to good director Goldov. Our calm situation still hasn't improved, but at least we might not have so much interference down here, thanks to the difference at my first second magic energy levels. Foo -foo -foo! Is he trying to cheer us up? Yes, I'm sure he is. Come on, Senpai. Musashi and Holmes are waiting for you. Morning, Maxi. Did you sleep well last night? Oh, if you're hungry, there's breakfast to be had over there. I say this about Olympus. The food here is yummy. I visited lots of different uh, worlds back when I was alive. And the food goes this uh, place is easily in the top five. Must mean civilization here has flourished to the point they can't really focus on things like refining their curls in. It's just too bad they apparently never got around to inviting Udon. You really do love Udon, don't you, Musashi? So do I. Oh, I follow Udon lover, I'm right. You just can't uh, beat the texture. It's true. The way the noodles glide across your tongue, while being delightfully chewy all the same time, also makes me end up eating more than I intended. Oh yeah, I know, servants. Don't technically need to sleep or eat. But uh, just because we can go without both doesn't mean we should, if you ask me. Can go to a rest helps your feel centered and focus. And a good meal just makes you straight up happy. I mean, since we materialize with emotions and all, it'd be a waste to neglect them. I'm glad to see you in good spirits, Musashi. You bet I am. I'm, st it's, I'm semi, no matter where I go or what I do. Sure thing uh, might uh, be kind of depressing lately, but in general, I like to smile my way for life. That's the kind of girl I was in life, and that's who I am today. Fufu. Oh, morning, you too, Fu. So, now that we've had a chance to slow down and catch our breath, I think it's good time to tell you what I've been up since uh, we lost our eats out in Russia. Can Sie mal darüber reden, dass Sie hier mit den solo oder was immer geredet hat? Also, äh, genau. Äh, wir haben sie ja in Russland getroffen. Dort hat sie ja hier uns äh, unterstützt, äh, als wir Ivan bekämpft haben und den mit einem Schlag hier in zwei Teile gehackt. Und die Frage ist, was sie seit äh, danach gemacht hat, dass sie wieder sich aufgelöst hat. First, just uh, we are on the same page. I was able to meet up with you guys in Russia because of my um, unique constitution. She was able to wander into neighboring worlds in life. I've always uh, thought of it as Lady Carnot's guidance. Though recently I learned it's actually called drifting. So I think uh, what happened was that I ended up drifting right before the world was wiped clean. When I drifted back a moment later, there was nothing left but a bleached white uh, ground area I looked. At the time I thought I ended up on some blank slate peril somewhere, yeah, but it was our world. But after wandering around for a while, I drifted right into the soil fields of the Russian Lost Belt. You with me so far? Uh, well, that makes, uh, that makes sense, well, except for one thing. Hm? Welches Ding? Right, back at the Caldea, your driftwoods are recorded as something similar in nature to a rate shift. Some understanding was that you could only drift uh, different time periods in parallel worlds. 
Yep, as a rumor drifter always put me in different worlds. Never the same one I drifted from. Before, if I wanted to drift back to the same world as all of you guys. I basically have to keep drifting between different worlds and hope I eventually get lucky. But... When I drifted out of Russia, I found myself face to face with the same bleached white earth of 2020. I tried a few more drifts after that, and they all turned out to the same way. Well, I didn't always end up in the same location, but they always end up in the same world and time period. A bit surprising at first, but I realized I basically gained a superpower. The ability to uh, teleport across long distances. From there I spent my days wandering around fighting off via creatures and testing how much I could control my new ability. Ach so, also ist Musashi die Person, die wir hier mal auf dem Planeten gesehen haben. Cool. Then one day... Watch yourself, woman. Colliding with another teleporter is unheard of, even in the Magecraft world. I ran into this guy who was kind of arrogant, but basically alright. I went out traveling together for a while. He tended to know a ton of all of kinds of things, like he would uh, kind of divine power to drift users. And what happened to you guys after Russia? I'm not sure there uh, was anything he didn't know. Anyway, he pretty much caught me up in the whole situation. So I decided to sneak into the Atlantic Lost Belt ahead of you guys and wait for you. Oh, I even managed to drift into Olympus easy peasy. I never even knew I was here. Unfortunately, my drift only works on me, so I couldn't bring a rope guy or any other hero experts along. Naja, er hat's auch so reingeschafft. They're probably gonna need uh, more help, besides just me. Should we spend more time looking for the servants? No need, circumstances being what they are, we can be assured that a grandson will appear in the Atlantic Lost Belt. That sound will be much more powerful, Ali, than you could ever hope to be. That being said, yeah, they will need you as well. If you want to come along, I can take you as far as the Atlantic Lost Belt, but not farther. Hm. The counterforce truly is nothing if not meticulous, meandering, and mean-spirited. So basically, your self-warping uh, powers really came through. Yep, I always used to think. If it has tendency to drift as a problem, so I'm glad it turned out to be actually useful for once. So in exchange for a longer, being able to ray shift in a different time period uh, per world, you were essentially able to freely teleport at least to a certain extent. It's very impressive that you've been able to make your way into a lost build without make embarking on a serious aid. Yep. I'm not really sure how it works myself, but it also sounds right. So in summary, your drift ability involving jumping into the rift between worlds, then emerging into another world. I think it's safe to assume that it still works the same way. Since that would explain how we are able to get past the Atlantic uh, Lost Belt Stormwall. The idea is uh, now that you're jumping into high dimension, to falling back down to a lower one. The only difference is that before uh, you could fall down to any number of possible destinations. But now you're only failing, falling back to this world, which is why you always emerge somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Guess I can't really call it drifting anymore, then can I? Fufu! What about the Rob guy? Can you tell us any more about him? I'd like to know the two. I see the Rob figure we've heard uh, rumors about in the other Lost Belt. The one who claims to be from Caldea? Ah, sorry, but I can't answer that. He made me a promise not to. And I still allow him for giving me food and shelter for a night, so I can't come back on my word. I see. At least we know he helped, mus helped you, Musashi. Right. He did, didn't he? We may not know who he is. But we do know he sent you here to help us. And if that's thanks to him that uh, we united, uh, he must be. He's got to be on Caldea's side. Uh huh, yeah, maybe. I mean, it'd be great if it turned out to be the case. <laughs> anyway, Maxi and Matt, there's something I want to uh, keep in mind. These uh, Yasiro experts who came here from Atlantis are all gone now. 
But you still had Alas, uh, we are willing to risk a life for you. So, while it might feel like you're fighting all on your own, sometimes you're not. You may not be able to see it, but uh, your homeworld of proper human history is still here to back you up. Yeah, there's always been someone around to help us. Hearing you say that is all the reasons I need to know you'll be alright. Ah, foo! <laughs> I see you're running to go for. That's the spirit. You're right, motivation is the key to success. And we're gonna need all motivation we can get uh, so we can settle things uh, once and for all. What does uh, saying it out loud scare you? Don't worry, we can do this. You guys already took out two of the gods. B but we only managed because we had so many servants helping us. <laughs> oh, Yazon! Alright! Oh, Galish! Not to mention they had all enhanced their spirit errors using the Olympian gods Tears Clearomia. On top of that, they had to risk everything they had, and even then, we were only just able to eke out their victory. Hmm? Hmm? -hmm. This isn't good, Mesh. You've been a bit uh, the cowardice bug. Foo? Um, cowardice bug? Bugs like that need to be shaken off as soon as possible. So on that note, go ahead and uh, to next up, Mesh. Huh? Go on! No need to be honest. Uh, Musashi, is this really a good idea? Luckily, you can shake off the cowardice bug pretty easily, just by getting in some existence, which means you are doing this uh, whether you like it or not. That goes for you too, Mr. Detective. I don't uh, think I uh, don't uh, see you watching over there. Good grief. Uh, what it would seem uh, Eastern Samurai Institution especially yet I thought Saints level is a frightening thing indeed. Holmes, should you be uh, up and about yet? Oh yes, I'm quite alright, Miss Kirillad. In fact, I feel even lighter on my feet than now than I did before we left the border. As far as I can tell, I've recovered to a point that I indeed engage in a hand-to-hand -hand combat once again. These medical nanomachines are truly marvelous things. You found Demeter Clinromia here too? Correct. These Theos Clinromia, a collective mass of microspartic authority, are named after Demeter, one of the goddess of Greek mythology. Demeter is the goddess of fertility and the deity who cultivates ambrosia, a food which grants immortality. According to the mythology of proper human history, she is best known for a tale to of her beloved daughter Adduction. Persephone was abducted by Hades and made the queen of the underworld despite Demeter's desperate attempts to bring her back to Olympus. Demeter Clinomia. I remember seeing it back on in Atlantis, but... True, but the Clinomia that were being kept here were far more effective than the Clinomia we saw in Atlantis. If we could bring some back with us to study later, I have no doubt we could. Okay, no more questions. It's time for morning training. Don't worry, Maxi. You can have breakfast as soon as it's over. Um, senpai? Looks like you and I are doing some morning training, Mesh. Right, understood. This morning training seems uh, like it will be very different from the simulator training I'm used to, but I do my best to adjust. Very well, Miss Miyamoto. If you insist, uh, but be warned. Baritsu is highly a versatile martial, martial art. If you think your katana alone will grant you an easy victory, I would advise you to reconsider your tactics. Ah, oh, I see someone remember to bring their trash talk. Okay, guys, come at me whenever you like. My word sort is already and waiting. Jetzt haben wir es wirklich gegen den kämpfen. Lang, dass ich, wenn ich die gegen die Götter kämpfen muss. Naja. Okay, liebe Leute, dann würde ich sagen, machen wir jetzt an dieser Stelle erstmal einen kleinen Cut. Beim nächsten Mal geht es dann weiter und dann schauen wir mal, ob wir diesen schönen Kampf dann gewinnen werden. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Auf Wiedersehen.